Russians gathered a third of their bombers at one airfield, this is a worrying sign for Ukraine. The Russians have assembled a third of their strategic missile carriers at the Olenya airfield in the Murmansk region. The military analytical publication Defense Express writes about this. Analysts point out that such an accumulation of enemy aircraft deserves special attention as the Olenya airfield is one of the main ones for the Russian aerospace forces and it is from this airbase that Russian aircraft take off to launch massive missiles at the territory of Ukraine. The concentration of missile carriers at the northern airfield is evidenced by new satellite images for May the 15th published in the public domain. They showed the presence of 12 Tu-95MS strategic bombers, 13 Tu-22M3 strategic bombers, 1 Tu-160 and 2 AN-12 military transport aircraft. Analysts emphasize that in total, Russia has 40 bombers of both types. Therefore, the concentration of a third of them at one airfield is definitely a remarkable fact. Experts also note that the Olenya airfield has now become perhaps the most important for the long-range aviation of the Russian Aerospace Forces in the war against Ukraine as only six Tu-22M3s were deployed at the Mozdok Air Base, which can also accommodate such aircraft as of the end of April 2024. Defense Express believes that the deployment of a third of the combat-ready fleet of Tu-95MS and Tu-22M3 at the Olenya airfield, which is one of the main ones for combat sorties during attacks on Ukraine, may indicate that the Russians are preparing for another massive strike. The AN-12 transport aircraft recorded on satellite images could just deliver a batch of cruise missiles. The second important conclusion, the Russians are massing strategic aviation to such a remote airfield because they are trying to remove their most valuable aircraft from the potential attack of long-range kamikaze drones of the Ukrainian Defense Forces. How Ukrainian fighters managed to shoot down Russian Su-25s, the instructor pilot explained. Military expert, reserve colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, instructor pilot Roman Svitan said that the Su-25 is the main tactical attack aircraft that has been operating for a long time, about 40 years. According to him, this aircraft is good from the point of view of groundwork. Svitan noted that this aircraft has 10 hard points so they can use NURS, that is unguided rockets. In general, this is a flying grad, the expert explained for Channel 24. The Ukrainian Armed Forces Colonel noted that the Ukrainian air defense does not allow the enemy Su-25 to approach the target at altitudes. Therefore, the Russians must enter at extremely low altitudes, that is, below 30 meters. Also, these attack aircraft mostly fly in pairs. According to Zvitan, at an extremely low altitude, the anti-aircraft missile system does not see the dryers, so the plane fires back 5 kilometers before the line of combat contact. Also, the overwhelming number of Ukrainian manpads can destroy targets at a distance of up to 5 kilometers. However, the expert noted that Ukraine now has more manpads and air defense systems that can reach the Su-25 at extremely low altitudes over long distances. Because of this, Ukrainian troops managed to destroy another Su-25. Recently, soldiers of the 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade shot down a Russian Su attack aircraft. This is the fourth aircraft that the soldiers of this brigade have destroyed since the beginning of May. It was also reported that Ukraine shot down a Russian Tu-22M3 for the first time, as a result of which the assistant commander, Captain Andrei Kononov, was also eliminated. A local Russian newspaper wrote that Kononov died heroically in Ukraine while carrying out a combat mission.